Bermuda Pirates, this is a simple game of dexterity with an element of memories. The players represent crews of pirates looking for treasures. And this is a game mainly aimed at families, possibly even just children. I played it with my daughters, seven and nine, and they really enjoyed it. But this is not the kind of game that I would play a game night with my adult friends only. Now, the game is played on a board that in order to set it up you place these four tiles the way you see them there there are little magnets somewhere in here or a little piece of metal and then the ships have the magnets in any case there are places where when a ship goes on it will get stuck and the bottom will get up because those magnets or whatever one of them is a magnet one of them is a piece of metal they are in different locations that means that when you change orientation and when you change the position you're gonna have different configurations every time the magnets are gonna be in different positions you have that piece that you probably saw part of it so you those four pieces are there connected uh, to one another and then you put this board here on top again there are little connectors here to make sure that that the board doesn't move and you even have little cute flags that you can put on top to make sure that things don't move i don't find them strictly necessary but they're kind of cute and actually they may help you um, visualize what the treasures are the treasures are these uh plastic gems here Oh, it's very bright. Uh, these plastic gems here. You will place them in small piles divided by color. So you can put red by red, blue by blue. But we're going to just put them all there for now. Because I'm sloppy and boring and lazy that way. Now, here we go. So we have the board now. And each player will have a ship. That starts from one of the islands and we'll have a number of buoys like so during our turn it's pretty simple you take your finger and you put it in the back of the ship here in this area here and you push your and you push your boat until it gets stuck now i will have to start over from there so the beginning yes the game before you wonder the game is completely random complete sheer luck at the beginning but now i know that there is a magnet there so i'm gonna put a buoy there more or less as a reminder and then everybody else takes their turn and now i'm gonna try to get to the island by a different path path and that one also dang it and then later i try to go to the island by oh my gosh and then later i try to go to the island by a different path now, so far it's pure luck and then of course I'm in dexterity. Ah, oh, come on, I can make it, I can make it. Yay, I made it, I made it there. And so I can load a gem now. And then it's time for me to go back home. Oh, home. Interesting things happen here. As you can see, if you have a gem, it is pew, it flies uh, out and actually other people or yourself can collect them from the water by touching the area. Now I discovered another place that has a magnet, but I am all out of boy. So I'm going to put one that I use and I'm going to have to remember what that one was. And this is pretty much the, the trick of the game. There are more magnets hidden somewhere there are more magnetic traps than there are buoys and that's uh, and that's the trick you have to remember and this is pretty much the idea you go back uh, back and forth uh, try to come back home with all of your treasures you're trying to collect a set of treasures one of each color when a player does that that triggers the end of the game you make sure that everybody has the same number of turns and at the point the play with a complete set wins the game if multiple players have completed their set then they share victory there is a tie because it's a family friendly game so it's okay not to have a tiebreaker this is how you play bermuda pirates so bermuda pirates really a more children's game than uh than a family game um as a parent if you play with children it's gonna be fun to see your kids having so much fun 
Although from time to time they get frustrated and start rolling on the floor, foaming and screaming, totally normal. As a parent, you know that's just the kind of stuff that happens. Um, but then there, but then things go well for them and they smile again. And maybe their sister is the one crying, so they're smiling also. It's a game that kids will take extremely seriously, uh, but it's not a family game in the sense, say, when you play King of Tokyo, you're playing the game honestly, and your seven-year-old is also playing honestly, and you're having an actual challenge, and you're actually playing the game. Here, for you, it's gonna be much easier to remember where the magnets are, where the traps are. However, the balancing element is that yes, there is randomness and you may have better motor skills than your kids, but you do stumble upon more of those traps and then and then the the ship uh, your ship flings the the gem on someone else's island which actually means good for them they keep it or in the water next to someone else's ship so the random element the blindness uh helps balancing things between adults and the kids or kids with different levels of skill but not to the point of making gameplay relevant when you have saying Candyland. Candyland is great for that because everybody has the same chances of winning the game. Too bad you're not doing anything significant. Here you're still choosing a path and there is randomness but you're still choosing a path because you seem to remember what that danger is. There's even a bit of strategy as you remove buoys from one area to place them somewhere else. I'm gonna actually remove the ones that are on the way of where you want to go because this way I'm um, I'm pretty much uncovering a trap and hoping that you fall in there. So when I'm removing buoys to move them somewhere else, I'm thinking how a ways of, to help myself, so I think I can remember that one, I don't need that piece. I'm also thinking of ways of intruding you know, onto your interest a little bit, hoping that you fall in that trap. So there is that element which is a little bit adversarial, but doesn't feel confrontational, it's not take that, it's not Annoying in that sense, the kids really don't, don't, they don't work well when it's too direct uh, opposition. But hey, move a buoy and you happen to fall in that trap, hey, that's just the way it is. My kids loved it, they had so much fun playing it. Again, I had fun playing it because of my kids, not because of the game, because it was fun seeing my kids so entertained. And also there's just that visceral pew element of seeing the your ship turn into a catapult. The kids love it and even I found it amusing. Again, it's a kid's, it's a kid's okay. game mainly as a parent. You will enjoy it by reflected light because you see your kids enjoying it so much. And of course kids can also play when you're not around. Um, but for kids, it's fun. My kids loved it. They asked me to play several times already. Um, they want to make sure that they keep it in the main house so this is there available, it's not in the studio where we have the main game collection and in the house we have a smaller shelf with the stuff that my kids want to play most often. Bermuda Pirates has the distinction and honor to be in the shelf uh, that is the most accessible to my kids. They loved it, it's simple, it's fun. If you just look at the game mechanics as an adult it may even feel silly to you but what can I say, when you play with kids it works and that ultimately is all that matters.